Among those in Israel, many Americans are trying to get out. Three recent graduates from Montgomery Catholic School were in the middle of their holy trip to the Holy Land when it was attacked. Our Julia Avan spoke to their parents to see how they're managing the stress with their children in the middle of a war zone. When pictures of explosions began to flash on screens across the world, the Barranco and Ansaldi families immediately tried to contact their kids. When we at least heard that he was okay, um, just 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 a text little message because it was he didn't talk to us at that point. Inus and Angelis Gonzalez Ansaldi and Matthew Barranco, all students at Franciscan University in Ohio, are studying this semester in Austria. They had the opportunity to travel to Israel to visit Jerusalem and Bethlehem. That visit turned into seeking shelter instead. They haven't listened to listen to sirens or bombs or or a shooting or anything like that. Matthew's mother says the only thing they witnessed while taking shelter were tanks moving towards the action. Did you ever think this would have happened? Uh, no, you know, it's been a you know, long time since they've had a lot of war stuff like this going on. And knowing that your child is not that far away, how does that make you feel? Yeah. Well, very nervous. Um, before this call, we did get a, a text from him. So they have checked into a hotel. He's actually had a shower. He's had food. Um, he gets to sleep. Um, they're in a, a pretty safe spot um, right now. Um, so I can only just trust right now. I have so many prayer warriors. We have been at, at peace the whole time. Um, we know that uh, they're really we very well taken care of. The parents say their kids were having a hard time getting back to Austria. Hundreds of flights out of Israel have been canceled. They're trying to get to an airport in Jordan by bus and hope to catch a flight from there. They don't plan to get home until December when the semester in Austria ends. All right. Thanks a lot, Julia. And she will continue to keep us updated this week.